Hey guys, so we've made it to Seaside, Oregon, here on the Oregon coast. It's actually my first time at the Oregon coast and it is absolutely beautiful here. We are staying at the Trade Winds Condo Hotel, which is just behind you there. So let me pick up this camera and I'll show you around the room where we're staying. So as you saw there, we are staying in room 203 at the Trade Winds Condo Hotel in Seaside, Oregon. So let's start over in kind of the bathroom area here. You'll excuse some of the mess because obviously we've already been here for a couple of days, but there is a single sink here and they provide soap and a hair dryer and tissue and uh, bath towels and all that usual kind of stuff. Here we go with awkward wave and mirror number one. Uh, you know, it's kind of an older building, but perfectly functional. Single sink there, and then the toilet and bath uh, tub is behind an actual door. So, yeah, toilets and, you know, usual towels and stuff. And there's a bath here, which is a, a, a proper bathtub, which is good if you're traveling with children and they don't want to take a shower. Uh, the shower head is one of these, like, multi-spray style Kind of shower heads. I found it a little bit short and I'm about, I don't know, 5'10 or so and I would have preferred that that was a little bit higher but it's fine. Coming back around into the main living area here, a series of hooks for your jackets and stuff for your seaside retreat. Swinging around here you get a kitchenette. This is a condo style place. It is a bachelor unit so there is no bedroom. Uh, but you do get a basic kitchenette kind of area here with a rather large microwave actually. As you can see there. A very small sink unfortunately, uh, but you do get a couple of uh, heating elements here if you actually want to use the kettle to boil some hot water or if you want to cook anything. There is a refrigerator and freezer down there and then all of these oh uh, there's also a toaster and up here is a toaster oven all of these cupboards come stocked with stuff so there's like i think that's a salad spinner up there uh, you also get the coffee maker coffee tea and uh coffee mate there's no milk included but there is you know non-dairy uh, coffee whitener. Plates and things, glasses, mugs, all that good stuff. The seaside kind of theme runs throughout the room with a lot of the decor choices. And like, as I said, like this, there is a cooking element there. So I think down here, yeah. You'll find pots and pans and even uh, like a magic bullet looking thing, cutting boards and all that. If you actually want to prepare your own meals instead of going to one of the restaurants in the area. Over here we have a Samsung TV. I'm guessing 42, maybe 46 inch uh, TV. Uh, you do have the regular cable package, but it's also a smart TV so you can log into your Netflix and uh, watch things that way. There's also a DVD player down here with some DVDs that are already in the room. There we go. Some DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff that are already in the room. But if you go to the main office, they also have some more that you can sign out. A fireplace that you can just turn on like so. And turn off. Uh, internet is included, there is Wi-Fi. It's not super fast, but it's reasonably serviceable. Over here, awkward wave in mirror. <laughs> Number two, you get an Ikea mom dresser to store your stuff. A couple of extra folding chairs, luggage rack, more 
seaside theme decor which carries through over here with more of the shelving here. Happily ever after at the beach. Folding table, uh, well, table with like two leaves that you can fold down if you'd like. Set up my charging station over there. There's a nightstand on either side of the queen size bed. I, I unplugged some stuff so that I'm able to plug in my own things, but there is a lamp on either side as well as this night light. It plugs in, but it also uh, has a stored battery on it. So you can bring it as a flashlight. And there is like a motion sensor. There was also one in the ba bathroom there. So if you leave it plugged in, it turns on at night if it senses motion. Pretty handy. And we're probably gonna take this with us for our little trip through Battery Russell and Fort Stevens. Pretty. 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 Standard kind of bed. Pretty good. Nothing too special. Lots of pillows. More seaside decorations. And there's the other lamp and nightstand. If you do have more than a couple people staying, uh, there does appear to be like a fold out mattress that you can put on the floor and some extra blankets and linens and things if you'd like. One thing that I did notice is there doesn't appear to be a thermostat in the room as far as I can find unless I missed it entirely. So like sometimes it feels a little bit too warm, sometimes it feels a little too cool. So that might be something you want to bear in mind when packing what clothes you want to have. There is a fan here, I guess, for in the summer when it gets hot. Uh, but yeah, I guess that is your quick look at the Trade Winds Condo Hotel here in Seaside. Oh, let me show you the view actually. We're on the second floor and we paid a little extra to have the beachfront view. So you can see everyone out there. And then it's about uh, maybe a 10 or 15 minute walk down the boardwalk to get into the main part of Seaside. And because we're right at the north end of the famous Seaside boardwalk. But yeah, it's a short walk over into the main part of town and there is an expansive beach in front of us here where during low tide is supposed to be a great area to find your sand dollars too. So something else that I wanted to mention is that the various suites and units in the Tradewinds Condo Hotel, you'll find them listed on a whole bunch of those um, vacation rental type websites, Airbnb, Home Away, that kind of thing. So it does get cross posted. So when you find something that is available, if someone's trying to book it at the same time, there may be some complications there. Uh, but if you book directly through the website, you do get a confirmation uh, usually by the next business day. Uh, the other thing, because I've seen it listed on all these different websites, I'm not completely sure whether Tradewinds Condo Hotel actually owns the entire property itself or if these are independently owned and they just hope to manage it. But everything kind of runs together. You go through the same office, you check in at the same place and you get your keys and all that. Uh, here in Seaside, you'll find a lot of these types of places to stay. And this was probably the one that presented the best value for us, both in terms of location and the view and you know the Wi-Fi that's included and all that good stuff. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. If you didn't already watch it already, uh, please check out my video of our stay at the Aloft Portland Airport at Cascade Station. Uh, and also throughout the rest of my YouTube channel, there's lots of other hotel room tours and that sort of thing. And we'll also have some more videos from our journeys here through Portland and the Oregon coast. So until next time, I'm still Michael Kwan. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.